Michael Bay's first Transformers movie turned Megan Fox into an instant star. Men's magazines couldn't get enough of her, and her future in Hollywood seemed all but bulletproof. Who knew that a mere decade later, Fox would still be playing second fiddle to CGI creations? Outside of the Running on Fumes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise, her box office prospects have been pretty dire of late. I am still socially relevant. Here's why Hollywood won't cast Megan Fox anymore. Transformer Trouble You'd think an actress would stay faithful to the franchise that launched her stardom, but there's been some bad blood between Megan Fox and the crew of Transformers. When Michael Bay cast Megan Fox in 2007's toy-centric blockbuster, she was still mostly unknown outside of a few small TV roles. By the time Transformers Revenge of the Fallen rolled out in 2009, Fox was a mega star, who had a few mega problems with her starring vehicle. Fox took shots at the effects heavy Revenge, telling Entertainment Weekly, quote, people are well aware that this is not a movie about acting." End quote. But even that comment was tame compared to the way she described Michael Bay. He wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is. Whoops! Comparing your boss to history's most infamous genocidal dictator isn't going to fly in most workplaces. Bay told GQ that while Fox was part of the rehearsal process for Transformers Dark of the Moon early on, she was dropped before filming began. Bay recalled, quote, Fox was in a different world, on her Blackberry. You gotta stay focused. And, you know, the Hitler thing. Steven Spielberg said, fire her right now. End quote. Dark of the Moon screenwriter Aaron Kruger echoed that sentiment, saying that Fox seemed like an actress who didn't want to be a part of it. She was saying she wanted to, but she wasn't acting like it. Flop Fest Transformers may have raked in truckloads of cash, but Megan Fox's three follow-up films crashed and burned spectacularly. First was 2009's Jennifer's Body, a low-budget horror thriller that attempted to build off Fox's growing star power by putting her front and center in the marketing campaign. But reviews were mixed, and the R-rated film earned a mere $6.8 million on its opening weekend. Then Fox appeared in 2010's Jonah Hex, a critical and box office disaster. She now openly admits that Jonah Hex was a turkey, saying in 2016 that no one should ever see that movie. The same year, Fox made a stab for indie cred with Passion Play, a 2010 drama starring Mickey Rourke, Bill Murray, and Reese Iffens. Despite the all-star cast, the film was critically reviled and only played in a handful of theaters before being dumped to DVD. Even Mickey Rourke slammed it, dubbing it another terrible movie on his resume. And Mickey Rourke knows a few things about terrible movies. Overexposed Around the time of the 1-2 career sucker punch of Revenge of the Fallen and Jennifer's Body, the Megan Fox backlash began. The combination of the massive marketing for her movies and her appearance on every late-night talk show, magazine, and online photo gallery caused serious Fox fatigue. Megan Fox Media Oversaturation Syndrome is a neurobiological disorder stemming from an oversaturation of Megan Fox-related media. It got so bad, several men's websites actually called for a day without Megan Fox boycott. When even AskMen.com is tired of seeing Fox in various states of undress, something is definitely off. This would be a perfect moment, except you landed on my testicles. False Starts Fox has been linked to a number of would-be franchises over the years, including a film version of the 90s bad girl comic Fathom, which revolves around aquatic heroine Aspen. But the project stalled, with Fox admitting in 2014 that she may be getting too old to play the 20-something character. And with so much of the film set underwater, unless James Cameron is going to direct it, I don't know how we're going to make it happen. And seriously, if you're looking to get past your sex icon typecasting, this probably isn't the role to make it happen. James Air, maybe, or Lady Wolfman, but not Aspen. Fox did return to blockbuster filmmaking as April O'Neil in the 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot. But after the sequel, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows grossed half of what its predecessor made, the third installment may never make it out of its shell, marking yet another failed franchise in the Fox filmography. A Comedic Return 
Fox has found success in recent years by taking supporting roles in comedies where she can tweak her aloof, glamorous image. She showed off her comedic side with turns in This Is 40 and The Dictator, and joined New Girl as a regular cast member in 2016 while star Zoe Deschanel was on maternity leave. Meanwhile, her role in the James Franco period comedy Zeroville proves that there's life after Bay for Megan Fox. If she keeps working in roles like these, Megan Fox may still have a long career in Hollywood ahead of her. And hey, if acting jobs dry up, Fox can always try working as a studio executive. I am going to eat your soul. See? She's a natural. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.